أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا Sir, let's dwell into a little bit of the historical, uh, what do you call, uh, context, context of, of, of this surah. Uh, and uh, I would say not only historical context, because there, uh, there are a lot of stories which are mentioned in this surah. So I think let's give uh, our audience a little bit of a brief of historical context, as well as, uh, you know, the, the, the stories that are mentioned. So we'll start with, because when the uh, Yehud came with those questions, I think let's start from uh, the you of course you need to there is a the, very interesting background and uh, we need to understand that everything is for a reason absolutely there absolutely. must be some reason for everything there were uh, there was a challenge which came to the people of Quraysh who uh, the, kuffars. the kuffars yeah those infidels had a challenge in front of in confronting the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he has what a special knowledge we we are like we go in awe we are stunned yeah. we don't have any reply We're speechless we can't we are answer speechless we can't answer and one challenge was rasulullah sallallahu and the other challenge was quran, quran. the magnificent yeah. which was even challenging them by yes, hanging yes, on the walls of kaaba yes yes so and how to cope about this challenge it was uh, becoming very difficult for them and there were people coming into the folds of islam day and night yeah. and the number was growing so in that particular challenge they thought our uh, kingship or chieftainship or uh, sort yeah. of uh, uh, you can say our power is going to the be power, challenged yes. yeah, our basically. power which is they are clamping in the, in uh, mecca that is being threatened yes. so they thought about it and uh, and they found a way they hmm. sent a mystery two people from mecca to medina it was the name was yasrab in it, those times it, it was like the eureka moment for them oh we yes, found the solution yes. you know we found La, yes solution. eureka moment and uh, once they went there to ask certain question a challenge which they can put across to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he would not have any answer to that because the Yahuds, the Bani Israelites, those were the people who remained amongst the prophets for hundreds of years. They were, they were the people of book. Yes. They were the people of knowledge. Yes. You know, at that time, of course, they, you know, they, these uh, uh, infidels, they, they would accept that Yahud are the only ones with knowledge. Yes. Yeah. And they thought that Yahud, they have the touchstone, touchstone yeah. to find out the about the truth about Absolutely. the last prophet or the prophethood they wanted to actually find out a way out they wanted to have a way out of this t- challenge they sent a mystery they went there and asked certain things how we can cope up this challenge of the prophet yeah. and they came up with those and we do questions. not have any yeah. reply to him n- neither him nor to quran and they gave three questions and all those three questions were very deep yeah. very intriguing all those questions first question was ask him go and ask him about ashab al kahf people of the cave who were they and where did they went and go to sleep number two question was about zulkarnain who was the great traveler who went on towards both and the journeys. world remember this very important thing yeah, exactly that's that why i mentioned asked the question about that great traveler who From went one pole to the other pole yes. so two journeys two journeys by the way viewers this is why we are emphasizing this again because this is going to come a little bit later yes this is very important they asked about the great traveler who went on both sides of the right. world both corners of the world and the third question was about ruh, ruh. the spirit azamin amrida yes and uh, that is very interesting that one question out of those three questions the response of that question about ruh it came in the surah bani israil yes it's not in Allah uh, highlighted the true face of the people who actually asked the question 
while the, those that emissary came back and they asked the question they did not tell that these are the questions from the yahud yeah, yeah, yeah. they were they just they were clever yeah. they projected that these are the three questions and these are for as a test of your prophethood just give us answer. the answer to these questions allah revealed surah bani israel and in that there was answer to question number 3 that is about ruh and the other two came here that connects these both surahs and also lift the veil from the face of the true culprits the mischievous and, and there's one interesting um, aspect here and can some i'm sure you will um, you will define it better that when these questions came nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a little bit worried because for about 14 or 15 days i think no way he came you know uh i think that is a uh, that's it, that is another respect that is another respect i, I will add okay. because uh, people sometimes so don't, don't understand the wisdom behind that exactly. thing exactly that's I will, why i mentioned I, this i will yeah. explain this thing so Just because since we are talking about yes, the historical the historical no, context yeah. also so the two questions the response to those questions came in the surah al kahf about the people of the cave as well as zulkarnain and there are certain other stories as well concerning our uh, Uh, guidance for particularly this era of tribulation mm. so in that case once they asked the question from the all these three questions from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he replied that i will answer this question tomorrow tomorrow exactly and that Allah tomorrow Akbar. never came Allahu akbar day passed and it was a matter of jest you can imagine what is going to happen what was the feeling yeah. of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he said i will answer this these questions tomorrow and why he is not coming yeah. and he felt abandoned yes uh, not abandoned I but mean, he, he was what... he was actually uh, quite uh, for the uh, lack of words in yes, english you know we we'll, yes. i use that word <laughs> okay so uh, it went on and on yeah. and it they kept on mocking yes they would would come and ask question from one corner sometime other corner what is the answer of this question you can well imagine what yeah. happens once yeah. the uh, people go into new It's colleges true. and universities for the first time the fools what do you call uh, that f- <laughs> Fool, uh, fooling i think yeah fooling fooling, uh, yes, fooling, fooling yeah, what yeah, happens in colleges and universities because, because they they got like for them it was like the treasure right? they yes. said okay now we have got yes. the answer yes and uh, the reply came after 2 weeks as a jibril alaihissalam he came and he brought the entire surah mubarakah together together it was revealed in one session true so um, all the questions were answered and uh, this was how we we can find, yeah, move, we can move, move forward, forward from here yeah. now uh, see uh, So because we have talked about now so let's talk about now I think we have got the historical aspect before we go into the symbolization or 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 the uh, usage and the current what stories you yes. know we let's talk about the outline of I think there are four or five stories yes very important to understand there are uh, basically five stories and uh, very interesting things the center of these stories is the story of Satan Yes. That comes in exactly center, and we have two stories in the beginning and two, two stories, stories the towards the end. And another interesting factor about those uh, stories: the first story and the second story, which is on one side of satanic story, and that satanic story is in just one aya. Uh, in that case, these two are unknown people, anonymous, anonymous. people of cave, as well the person. who had two gardens yes they so were. these stories are of anonymous people whereas the other two stories they are like elites yeah, yeah. They, they are very they, they very known very people known. first story that is as musa and khazar's story very mm-hmm. interesting very intriguing and if we are able to understand the deeper layers of the story we can pass through all the challenges of our lives by the way this this takes me to one question which you just mentioned the whole because the whole sura came down as as a, as, as a whole it was not in pi normally the surahs will come in parts so nobody had asked the question about musa nobody had asked the questions about gardens so why they have to be put in and and this musa story could have been in um, i don't know bakara maybe or any other sura why in this do you, is there any relevance to that 
Yes. Before that, I will just complete. Okay. The the last story is about Zulkarnain. Zulkarnain. So two stories with the names and two stories without names. So and in the center there is satanic story. And uh, as you asked the question about Azat Musa and Khaizar story, it was not asked. Neither this story was asked, no, nor the, about the, the, uh, the gardens. Garden, uh, the man with two gardens. But interestingly, all these are so important and so relevant to our times exactly. that Allah has given all these. This, this is an entire, the perfect treasure which Allah has given us for passing through successfully and honorably through. the end times absolutely the life, um the tribulations so this story we will discuss about we'll later, certain we'll, yeah, aspects we'll, we'll later. Uh, introductory aspects mm-hmm. not very because yeah, yeah, but, every story would demand at least <laughs> minimum 10 hours, 10 hours exactly. minimum no, 10 no, no, that, hours that that idea is that yes. we'll just give you a food of thought viewers so that you can you know you can also understand and you will have to develop probably deeper in your own so knowledge in fact guide us you know because we i am a student of quran I am also a student, student of Quran. Quran so you know so we are all learning